Hey guys, press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Pink Villa. Hi Pink Villa, this is Kriti Sanin and today I'm going to be talking about my lifestyle and what I do to stay fit. Yes, pretty much, but uh, I can't eat anything to any extent. So, um, there, you know, everyone has those uh, body areas where you sort of put on the first and uh, where you lose the last sometimes, which is annoying. <laughs> so I think uh, if I go too overboard and I just hog and eat whatever I want, then I start gaining a little bit. But as soon as I do, I sort of realize and then I just control myself. So morning rituals, I think um, uh, just having a glass of water uh, sometimes with lemon sometimes with honey depending on what I feel like and um, for the skin I think just when you wake up I don't want to put too much on my skin so I just probably uh, use a mild cleanser and I just clean my face and that's about it I think I am like a regular girl so a lot of you uh, uh, you know who just probably eat a lot of ghar ka khana and whatever are going to relate with me a lot um, I usually have, uh, usually uh, have uh, either boiled egg with some bread butter uh, and uh, either coffee or tea. Uh, these days I'm having only black coffee. Um, and I have, th there are days when I don't feel like having egg and I'm sick of it. Uh, you know, there are days I sort of make like a mix a little bit of um, diet mayo or something in the boiled egg with chopped pieces and have it in like a sandwich. And there are days when I feel like having a paratha and I have like, you know, what we I in Punjabi call namak jwain ka paratha. Uh, so I have that with butter. I love butter. So that is my breakfast usually. Um, lunch is usually rice with either chicken curry um, or, or I love like rajma chawal or sometimes dal chawal with some vegetables along with it. Uh, that's usually about it and that's pretty much my dinner either or uh, if I've had I usually don't like having non-veg both the time so I try and balance it and sometimes when I'm feeling too heavy or I'm or I need to sort of uh, cut down and uh, manage my weight and stuff then I sometimes also like having like a nice soup um, either like a sweet corn with like a lot of vegetables or even tomato soup uh, or even a chicken soup for that matter with uh, a very light sandwich or something. Oh, I'm very bad at all this. Yeah, I think you're talking to the wrong person, but uh, it depends. I sleep kind of late, so around 9, 9.30 and if I feel like munching, if I'm up till very late, then I'm like you who goes to the fridge and finds whatever she gets and just has it. I'm somewhere in the middle, so I think uh, I can't wake up till too late. So I think usually uh, max by 1, 1 30 I am off to sleep. Uh, if I'm out partying, yeah, it gets a little later. Uh, but I get up like around 8.39 usually. So I, on days when I can, on days when I don't have like an early morning shoot or something, then I sort of like having my eight hour sleep. And uh, there are so many days when you really can't or you have a hectic day and you know your schedule sort of I don't think you can really follow one schedule because you're having night shoot or you're having day shoot and sometimes you're just getting up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. and there are times when you're sleeping at 5 or 6 a.m. so yeah that's the life. I love Mughlai, uh, North Indian and I love Chinese. I usually prefer working out in the first half of the day which is post uh, like say an hour of my breakfast um, which comes out to be around like 11, 11.30 or max 12 uh, is when I usually work out. Uh, sometimes if I have work in the day um, or I've slept late and I've not got a good sleep then I work out in the evening. I think uh, whatever works for your body in terms of having good energy uh, that should be your time and wherever you feel more active it should be your time of workout. Um, I think I usually mix uh, a little bit of weight training with sometimes Pilates uh, and sometimes if I just feel like uh, doing home yoga on like a mat or like mat exercises which don't really require you to hold a lot of weights but there are a lot of exercises that you can just do on a plain yoga mat and they uh, help you sort of get 
your core strength and your balance right and also stretch a lot of your muscles so uh, if I have a film shoot or say any other shoot coming up where there's a lot of skin showing or there's midriff showing I think I sort of am one of those people who puts on on her lower abdomen which sort of looks ridiculous even if it's like just a little bit but uh, I think there are ways to cut that down there are ways to sort of get back in shape in those few days and I think I sort of go on a slightly low carb and high protein diet uh, I change I swap my rice with quinoa and I have a little more protein and less of bread and uh, my night meals are usually very light then I would have like like some chicken pieces with probably some soup and that's about it and of course those are the days when I s so I'm not usually a cardio person I don't do cardio usually but if I really feel like I have to be in a particular shape for a film where there's a there is a lot of skin showing uh, then I work out twice at times which is just like 45 minutes of a fast brisk walk or some kind of cardio and uh, my usual weight training that goes when you don't have a proper diet you don't have cheat meals so for me actually uh, I kind of binge into anything and everything when I feel like if I don't have anything uh, particular uh, coming uh, ahead that I have to be fit for I eat everything practically whether it's a gulab jamun or whether it's a chocolate or a cake or whatever but I love having uh, uh, sweets in general and um, yeah, those are pretty much my cheat meals. So sometimes if I feel like having a pizza or a burger, then yeah, that. I don't think I've ever tried a crazy diet, but I've seen a lot of people trying uh, crazy diets. Uh, for me, I think the craziest has been when I've just had no cheat meals and no carbs. Uh, maybe like a little bit of carbs only in the breakfast, which I'm not used to. I love having bread. I love having butter in general. So uh, having quinoa and having salad, salads I hate, oh my God. So having salads for meals was something I never thought I would do, but I have done it for a role. And, uh, but I've seen people having like, going on those liquid diets, which is depressing. And then I think they don't realize, but the people who actually suffer are people around them. Cause you get cranky when you're not having carbs at all, when you're not eating properly and you're only taking liquids. So yeah, but hats off to them who can do it. I don't think I can. Uh, the secret, I think a little bit I would say jeans uh, and the rest I guess just taking care of your skin is very very important uh, especially in the profession that we are in that you're exposed to sun you're exposed to lights you're exposed to a lot of makeup uh, all the time so I do make sure that I clean my face with a good cleanser I do make sure I moisturize properly I moisturize a lot especially at the night uh, I like using a few oils uh, on and off. I like like lavender oil. There are oils from Kiehl's which uh, are really good. So I like hydrating my skin. Also it's very important to keep having water. And it's important to use a sunscreen. I think that is one of the most important things. Something that I sort of swear by and I never step out without a sunscreen on my face. I think we don't really realize how much damage sun does to our skin. And that damage is visible only after a few years when you can't really do anything about it. So that, and apart from that, I feel in terms of makeup, just less is more. Just let your skin breathe when you can. Don't put too much makeup on your face and uh, see what brand like really suits you and just have minimal makeup on your face. So if you guys enjoyed some of the tips that I just gave, then please like, share and subscribe to Pink Villa.